Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but a variety of categories, including books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day, if not twice, whenever I announce giveaways, there's always a giveaway going on because whenever you find a secret password in one of my videos, you can be entered to win a mystery box at the end of the month and if you have that notification bell turned on you will also find out whenever I go live. Now I am planning on going live on the 15th of May. It was originally scheduled for the 8th but that of course is Mother's Day so we're going to postpone it by a week. Let me know in the comments if you are going to be able to make it and join us for some giveaways and general subscription box world chatter. As always if you are already subscribed thank you again so much for being here and welcome back. I do really appreciate all of your continued support in the form of likes, comments, following me over on Instagram, joining our little Facebook community, the No But Nook. And of course, I do really appreciate when you take the time to comment. It helps with my engagement here on the channel. And I am hoping to get this channel to 5,000 subscribers by my third year anniversary, which will be in September of this year. Today is an exciting day. It's always an exciting day when I have a new box to the channel to share with you. This one has been sent to me for review. It is a monthly self-care box called Gen Glow low and I already love the uh, purple tones to it. So let me just tell you a little bit about this box. It says pamper yourself or treat a loved one with a Gen Glow self-care box. This box includes wellness and other self-care goodies. There's five to eight quality full-size items in each box. You guys, this box is only $34.99 per month plus $9.95 in shipping. I think any box that is priced under $40 these days, especially for a monthly box, is a pretty good deal. And I do, of course, have a coupon code for you and an affiliate link. It is Noel 10 that will save you 10% and I will leave that affiliate link for you in the description box below. Affiliate just means that I will receive a small commission at no additional cost to you. So let's dive in. I am so excited about this box because I've been looking for another good self-care box. Now self-care I feel like fits in the general category of lifestyle but usually it tends to lean a little bit more heavily on bath and body products versus beauty. Bath and body products. I do like it though when a self-care box has like one or two extra items that are not just bath and body right because then it could be a bath and body box versus just a self-care box and there's so many uh, sort of facets to self-care so inside I just see a little note card with a sticker that just says Gen Glow Box. I have to look into where this box uh, got its name. I'm interested in learning about how maybe it's to help all the generations glow no matter what age you are. Uh, so it says, thank you. We hope you enjoy this month's box. Your purchase made our day and we hope we can make yours a little bit better too. And then it tells us that this month it says April's self-care theme is all about flowers. Everything blooms in its own time be patient with yourself is what it says. Of course, we have those little blooms there and this box totally already matches my uh, peony tulips that I have back there in lavender. So seems very fortuitous. And then on the back, it just has a very tiny font. It says what's in this month's box. It doesn't look like they have the retail values, but it does look like there are six items and I'm just taking a quick glance and it looks like there's some pretty quality items in here. So let's dive in. I'm seeing a couple of um, brands that I know and love from reviewing subscription boxes. And wow, you guys, the presentation of this is lovely. In addition to the purple box and the purple tissue, we have some purple shred to tie it all together. I don't know if it's always purple just because the box is purple, but definitely goes with my purple flowers, like I said. All right, so everything fit in there like just perfectly. I'm not sure how the shoe accomplishes that every month. First thing I am pulling out is Tea Garden. It's some Earl Grey black tea. There are 10 tea bags. What a pretty little box. Mine got a little bit crushed, but I think that is really cool. How pretty is that box, you guys? So let's see, it just says, enjoy a cup of Earl Grey to brighten up your day. So here is an example of an item that is more on the general lifestyle box. Uh, item list versus just being like bath and body. So already bonus points uh, in my opinion. So inside we just had a silver bag that will have our tea sachets. Not gonna open that. I do love a good Earl Grey. So it just says a blend of Ceylon and other origin tea packed in Sri Lanka. Wow, store in a cool dry place. And this is made by Life, Life Plus Style Gourmet out of Valley Stream, New York. So it does tell us this is best before uh, 2024. So I'll probably get to it before then. So. Very cute, nice little tea. Um, and then 10 tea bags, that's pretty good. 
something else that I like. So this is really more of a lifestyle box so far. So it says uh, creative energy candles. It, ooh, I'm excited, you guys. White tea and violet is the scent. So it is a 13, 13, 3.5 ounce candle so ooh, it's a lotion candle how cool so it is a little bit of a bath and body element there so we love that so these lotion candles are really neat you just uh, blow the candle out and let the wax begin to cool and then you can uh, dip uh, dip a little spoon or a little wand in there and you can actually rub it into your skin as a moisturizer as a lotion which is super cool so it says all candles are phthalate free soybean oil certified organic for extra virgin coconut oil um, it just says for best results melt and silica it has made a pool that covers the entire top surface instead of sort of like cratering in there it says blow out candle flame and then you may apply it to your skin the container will be hot because it is uh you know a tin and it says that the burn time though on it is 23 hours which is pretty good for a little 3.5 ounce so it does have some information on the inside about how to use your creative energy candle so that's kind of cool it says the two-in-one candle and natural anti-aging it's got vitamins k e and e blended essential oils all natural soybean wax and again organic extra virgin coconut oil so super simple nothing too crazy because you don't want an extra stuff that you're gonna get on your skin as when you're using it as lotion Ooh, that smells so good. I have been loving white tea fragrance things so much. It's so nice. And then just a little bit of the violet, because sometimes I think violet can be a little bit too strong of a scent. That's really awesome. I haven't actually, I don't think I've seen this brand before. So revitalize your senses with the scent of jasmine and violet. This says jasmine and violet on the card, but this is white tea and violet, which I think I love jasmine too though, so I probably would have liked that too. It says this candle is made with natural essential oils, including cedarwood, vanilla, violet, jasmine, orange, and nutmeg. That is definitely not the candle that I got, but I am stoked on the one that I received. All right, let's keep going. Here is a brand that I have seen before um, that what I do like quite a bit. It's Little Moon Essentials. They have great packaging. This is a floral scent. It's just called Relax. It is a bath and shower sugar exfoliant. Again, really pretty packaging, right guys? So let's see what it says about this. So where is this on here? I don't actually see it. Where, where, where? So, hmm, maybe we had a couple of replacements. I'll go over the card one more time once we get to it, but I'm pretty excited about this uh, little shower scrub. I haven't, like, I don't usually use a lot of shower scrubs in all honesty, because I feel like they're kind of messy, but when I get a little one in a box, I'm totally into using it. So let's see, I don't see it on here, how strange. I do see this though. This is the Toca Giulietta Crema de Mano. So Crema de Mano. So a uh, hand cream is what that is. So it says the Florence Crema de Mano by Toca is a moisturizing, quick absorbing hand cream enriched with natural extracts from shea butter, avocado oil, and aloe. The rich cream will leave your skin feeling soft, silky, and lightly fragranced. So that sounds nice. Again, it's 1.5 fluid ounces. It's always great to have a hand cream. I think that's really nice. Um, I'm not really sure if that says what does it say it says the same thing on the back essentially in various languages but I'm not sure what the uh, let's see what did it say the scent is doesn't say maybe it's not necessarily super fragranced which is also a nice thing this is also on the card this is also a brand that we know and love and it is Earth Harbor so this is their Ahoy Love Nourishing Cream Cleanser yay so it's a hibiscus and green tea by Earth Harbor Naturals this cleanser is great for providing hydration and nourishment to your skin. It's a nice, pretty pink color. Um, let me see if it's open or not. So it has seaweed, vitamins, and hibiscus. Hibiscus is a great scent as well. It's like a nice floral that's not too strong, not too like kind of heady, if that makes sense. Ooh, that's, it doesn't even, it has a very light scent and it's um, not like earthy, but it's it's definitely not that heady, overwhelming floral scent. So I, I wouldn't have like picked it out as hibiscus smelling it on my own, but you guys know I'm terrible with scents, but I do really like it. So I don't think I've actually used this, which is strange because I feel like I get so many Earth Harbor products that I probably would have used it at some point, but I do like a nice uh, cream cleanser. So that was a good item. And then we have, okay, so I feel like this is something I've gotten before in boxes, and this is amazing. So this is Alicia Confections. They're out of Ottawa, um, Ontario, Canada. 
and it is, I believe, chocolate, you guys. So it doesn't look like it offhand. I did not recognize it until I actually read the label. So it's cute because the box is sort of fashioned like a postcard, but it does have that ingredient list. So yes, indeed, you guys. Uh, so it's uh, telling us the nutritional facts, but it's in lavender. So it's a milk chocolate lavender bar, which means I will get to eat it. My husband will not. Now, normally I'm not super into like florals in food, like for example, like rose flavored things, but I do like a hint of lavender. I do like some culinary lavender in like lemonade or scones. And I think it could be nice in chocolate if it's not too, too strong. So let's see, it says, this is the Lavender Lilac Milk Postcard Chocolate Bar by Alicia Confections. Lavender Lilac is a 33.6% milk chocolate bar sprinkled with dried lavender flowers, making this an aromatic and luxurious chocolate bar. I'm very interested by the lilac. I will do my best, you guys, to take some photos for you. I'm not necessarily going to uh, dive into it right now. I am hoping that it did not get too melty and messed up uh, sitting in the sun. Sometimes my packages have to sit in the sun or like, you know, my post office box for a little bit. And so I worry about them. So it just comes in this nice little gold wrapper inside, but I will do some surgery and delicately open it and hopefully show you how luxurious and lovely that chocolate is over on Instagram. I am still a little bit behind because I've had so much going on family wise but uh, hopefully I'll get caught up so you should be seeing this in the next uh, couple weeks if not sooner here is something that is in Rose, another brand, another product that I've received in other boxes and I'm always thrilled to get another one and that is an NHCO Botanical Body Care shower steamer. So these are these huge shower steamers, you guys, like they're a big tablet. They do actually um, come pre-scored, I believe, down the middle. So you can use them for at least two different showers. It says, turn your shower into a spa with this invigorating shower steamer made with a refreshing blend of essential oils and organic menthol crystals. So even though it's rose, I have started to come around on rose scented things, if not rose flavored things. Um, and I do love a good shower steamer. And these are really well made. Sometimes we get shower steamers, especially when they're like home homemade or small batch and while they smell good in your hand they honestly don't throw a lot of scent into your shower um, so I really usually like the stronger ones like eucalyptus that kind of thing or like mint that really clears your sinuses but this brand does a really good job like they do an orange scented one that's like really strong and fantastic so I'm I'm happy to try this this rose one out so let's just go over everything that we got so there was something that i think was replaced or actually i think that that um little moon essentials you guys i think that might have been an extra because everything else i think we covered so we got our rose shower steamer by nhco botanical body care we got our lavender lilac and i just i can't see oh it does say lavender lilac couldn't see the gold foil writing our Lavender Lilac Milk Postcard Chocolate Bar, our White Tea and Violet 2-in-1 uh, Soy Candle by Creative Energy. So it does say White Tea and Violet as like the header, but then the description, it sounds like it's for one with Jasmine and Violet. So pretty close though. Uh, so same, same company at least. We got our uh, Crema de Mano, our hand cream by Toka, which I'm excited about. We got our cream cleanser in hibiscus and green tea from good old Earth Harbor, yay. And we also got our beautiful little package of tea garden Earl Grey tea. We got 10 sachets and then not on there, you guys. So this must have just been a bonus, which I don't know how you get the bonus, is this lovely little moon essentials, relax, bath and shower sugar exfoliant. So pretty good. So even if this wasn't in here, you got six items, really lovely items, high valued items, especially with that Earth Harbor in there. Those shower steamers, I think retail for like $9 because they are so hefty. And then we also got this little bonus, like seventh item. So honestly, you guys, I thought this was a really fantastic and well-priced self-care slash lifestyle box. Nice variety. We got a nice treat, some fancy chocolate. We got some bath and body items. We got a nice candle that can also serve as a, as a body item. We got the lovely tea, which will probably be nice with that chocolate in all honesty. So I thought this was great and I'm looking forward to seeing more boxes from them. If you want to check them out, use that code, use that link. Please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you thought and what your favorite item in this box was. I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.